that's uh, the important thing there. Now, that's pretty much where I'm at at this point. The computer will boot into safe mode for OS X, which I'll go ahead and go into next. Uh, and I cannot get it to boot into regular mode right now, like I say. That is due to my graphics card. I have an ATI graphics card, ATI Radeon HD 2600 XT PCI Express 512 megabyte. Um, I have not had the time to work on it since I got it installed. Uh, it's just been hectic, which is obviously why I haven't even done this video until now, because I just simply have not had the time. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, I've heard a couple, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and try here one of these days. Uh, you know, let me know for sure. Like, if you guys have ATI cards, you get them running. Let me know what you did. Uh, you know, or if it just works for you. Great. Um, because most, right now, it's all set up for NVIDIA chipset, NVIDIA cards, whatnot like that. So it works a lot easier with NVIDIA. So ATI is, once again, just another added hurdle to installing OS X on a PC. AMD being the first, well, actually, PC being the first, AMD being the second, ATI being the third. Um... Also, something else to note, my computer does have two Ethernet cards, one of them being a NVIDIA chipset Ethernet, the other one being a Yukon. Um, I believe it reads the Yukon, not the NVIDIA. I could be wrong. I'm not sure I've not gotten a mess with that because in safe mode, it doesn't work, period. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and boot it into safe mode now, and I'll show you that a bit. Um, I'm not going to be able to log in because I don't have my USB keyboard here right now, uh, but it'll, I'll show you that it does boot into safe mode, and that's really the point it gets to. I can log in and use it in safe mode, but it runs not very well because obviously nothing's loading really. Alright, so, gone ahead and plugged in the secondary hard drive. Um, main reason I have this, I have my OS X hard drive unplugged or had it unplugged was because I installed Vista recently and Vista installer was getting lost in that drive. Once again, not allowing me to install. I don't know why I am having all these issues, but I am. So whatever, I just unplugged it. So, okay, so we're into this screen now. We go ahead and select hard disk. Once again, I get here by pressing F11, but on some other motherboards, it's uh, some is delete, some is F1, some is uh, F12, mine's F11. Uh, I'll select my 40 gig. If you have more than one hard drive and you're not sure which one to select, the easiest way to tell is by the model number. In this case, I have two different brands, so that makes it even easier. I have my Western Digital, which is my main, and my Master, which is my secondary. But in the model number, Right here, the 40, that is a 40 gigabyte hard drive, and or possibly even the 4K right here. This is my main, which is a 320 gigabyte hard drive, so that's the easiest way to remember. So, since I want my 40, select it. This is right now, it's going to boot into regular mode. This is going to give it a kernel panic, which is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and show that to you first. See, this right here is the kernel panic. And this is all because of my display adapter. Because right there, display family unknown. Or, sorry, display family specific matching fails. So it's essentially because it cannot match my, my card to what it's got. So, do a reset here. Alright, so, this time, I'm going to hit F8, that'll give me my boot option. To boot into safe mode, it's minus X. And I can type that on my PC or PS2 keyboard because I'm technically not in Mac OS X Unix yet. This is still DOS.
This is a normal boot time for a Mac. So, this is all usual. Because I've actually seen a Mac Cube running OS X boot the exact same way, so it takes about that long. In fact, I think the Cube took longer. And there it is. It is in safe boot. Uh, like I said, I can't log in because I don't have my keyboard here. But you know, it isn't crashed. It mouse everything works. That is pretty much essentially it. Uh, like I said, this is where I'm at. It boots in safe mode just fine. I don't have sound or anything like that. It should work because my motherboard has the AC97 ch audio chipset on it, which supposedly natively works because that is supposedly what's on the boards. I don't know. Um, if that's what it really is, or what they really do support, or if mine is supported, etc., etc., just because safe mode, it disables all that extra shit. So, I don't know what works, what doesn't, uh, right now, but I don't even care. My main thing is once I start on this again, is getting past my ATI boot problem, because booting into safe mode really doesn't mean shit in ways. Uh, so... Once I get past that, I'll post another video whenever that is. I don't know, so I mean, you know, don't don't ask questions on that because I don't have an estimated time as to when I'm going to be able to get through it. Because this is where I'm stuck. This is I don't have time to work on it right now. But when I do, I will certainly put more information on it. Uh, and once again, if any of you guys out there have any information on the ATIs, let me know because that would certainly help a lot. Uh, and I will go ahead and try that, and I will let know if, if it's successful for me. Just because it doesn't work for me does not mean it's not going to work for you. So, once again, you know, this is a results will vary type of thing. So, uh, any questions, comments, anything, you can go ahead and email me uh, to my YouTube account. It goes, uh, it goes directly to my email. And I do check that constantly, and I try to reply as best as I can, as soon as I can, to all of my messages. So, if you have any questions, anything, just go ahead and message me. And then a couple of things, if you get a kernel panic like I did, one thing to try is, in the boot flag area, or excuse me, in the boot area, instead of booting into safe mode right away, try CPUs equals 1. I'll go ahead and put that on the bottom of the screen. Uh, and then hit enter, it'll try to boot. If that doesn't work, try minus S. And if that doesn't work, try the minus X for the safe mode. Now you're going to have to just, just trial and error at this point, so see what works for you, see what doesn't. Um, and, you know, let me know of any successes uh, that you guys have. So, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this. Thank you, everybody, for the interest that you know, I've gotten in this, uh, and once again, I am sorry that it did take me this long to make this video, I just have not had time to sit, you know, and record all of these different things, uh, life is extremely entertaining that way, so, thank you everybody, and I hope this helps, so, thank you.